palpable and you can understand why two high level sides about to face each other and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up we're live on EA TV And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Juventus, and they take on Parma. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how Juventus will line up. Federico Gatti plays alongside Bremer in the centre of defence. And the striker today is Dusan Vlaovic. starting lineup for Palma. Well, we believe they're going to play with the same system here, but it's all about the midfield battle. Whoever wins that should control the tactics. Nicolas Gonzalez, Cup Mainers, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Koulibaly, Mann, and players waiting in the centre. It's a good cross, has to be. Scoring chance, perhaps. Well, it's a decent-looking attack, this. A disappointing end to the move. Dusan Vlahovic. Fluency of movement. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Well, Dusan Vlahovic is the sort of player well capable of deciding a game on his own. Interested to know, Stuart, what you think we might see from him today? Well, quite simply, any time there's a free kick around the box, he will pose a massive threat. He's just so accurate with his shooting. Failure to keep the ball by the Bianconeri. Gildes couldn't keep it opportunity in the wide area now he must favour the cross 
must take the lead here. He can't hold on to it. I think the threat has been averted. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Yes, in the mood to exert more pressure. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. He might yet finish. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Playing it in. Corner once more. Delivering it. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. How about the cross? Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Cop Mainers released it nicely. Plattered away. Well, as you can see, the visitors have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period, but you do sense it's coming. Yes, who knows, maybe another opportunity in the works for them. And playing it through. Poor pass under no real pressure. It's opening up for them. Yildiz. Could be threatening. And full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. He has teammates around him. from the previous incident he sees yellow now advantage in the end well they might be piling on the pressure but they've got to make it count in those situations that's for sure yes they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here and that puts them in position offside it is but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision well it's fine margins isn't it but in the end he just went too early Physically strong and secure on the ball. Botton Barok. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Yildiz. Trying his luck. Following his opponent completely. On a corner to Juventus. And perhaps an opportunity for the old lady to jump ahead. <laughs> 
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not away properly. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting the gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. The start of the second half here in Turin tonight. Valeri. A move of promise on the flank. And beyond the last defender, offside. Andrea Cambiasso. Federico Gatti, Cambiasso. Unable to keep the ball. Federico Gatti, Locatelli. Nice weight on the pass. And it looks as though they might be in just for a second or two. Keeper have plenty to think about with bodies around him. Trying to open up the defence. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer, and he would have been in on goal. And nicely over the top. Trying to open them up. Oh, a tremendous block. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Delivering it. Support available. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Not great distribution from the keeper. Estevez. Lacking a distinct sense of rhythm at the moment. Vlaovic. It's there for him. I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Determination and the challenge. A throw in here. Man. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. It's a substitution for Juventus. in the wide area 
but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending and into the last 20 minutes ran it superbly to take back possession Hernani Koulibaly Really getting stuck in. Weston McKenney. Well, this could really help the cause. Could be troublesome. Must take the lead here. What an important piece of defending. And passing it well. And Juventus getting forward. A goal at this late stage, and that might be that. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. A chance to whip it in here. Now a decent position. Oh, great play. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. And just five minutes remaining. Juventus on the front foot. Waning moments of the game. What next with the game level? Shaping to shoot. Keeper did his job to begin with, and there it is, an almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope the teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Valentin Mihaila well still time for them to level it opportunity to deliver the cross well he knows what he's doing defensively Nicolas Gonzalez might be able to get in behind the defence a go and the keeper's hand does the trick and that will be all for this game anyway and defeat for the visitors much to the disappointment of their supporters yes Derek there was very little in it for much of the game I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least and it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on but they just have to bounce back now well Nicolas Gonzalez had plenty to say for himself out there on the pitch and I rather think you're going to be giving him high marks well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.